Bobby Pierce will grab the lead in the one. In the 32, out of two down the back straightaway. Owen second, Hawkins third. Down the back straightaway they go. Wells fourth, Blankenship fifth. Pierce looking good early. Pierce up on the high side. Here comes Hawkins looking low on the 20 of Owens at the end of lap number one. Pierce is your leader. Owens second, Hawkins third, Wells fourth. Blankenship in fifth. Blankenship has not had a good year. James looking to get back on track, maybe here tonight. Poor qualifying time for Blankenship, but what a run in this heat race right now. The reigning world winner and winner. He'll follow behind the 18 of Eric Wells. Then it's Moyer Jr. Van Warmer squeezing Ben now to four. Van Warmer on the inside trying to take that spot away. Here comes Brian Burkhofer alongside of him. Those cars battling back there for about the seventh and eighth position. Up front though, Bobby Pierce putting a little bit of distance between himself and Jimmy Owens. It's Jay Hawkins running third side by side for fourth. The 18 of Eric Wells, the 23 of John Blankenship, three laps complete. Bobby Pierce won a run in the world one early last year, a top five performance. Down the back straightaway, only his fourth time on the racetrack here at the Big E as he fires up at turn four. Looking like a grizzled veteran at 17 years young. Much younger than the 72-year-old Delmas Conley is your race leader, Bobby Pierce. Pierce pulling away from the 20 of Jimmy Owens. It's been almost a year, if you are to believe that. Last June since he last visited Victory Lane. But solid in that rocket or not as he closes on fellow rocket driver Eric Wells down the back straightaway as he sandwiched in between the reigning world 100 winner John Blankenship. Bobby Pierce is seeing his lead very slowly and very quietly evaporate. Jimmy Owens not exactly knocking on the back door yet, but Owens is turning faster laps than the race leader and quietly closing the gap. Meanwhile, your race leader Pierce is quietly closing in on the back of the field as we work lap number nine. We've had one caution all night long. We've gone nine laps into this feature. All green down the back straightaway. That lead is slowly dissipating as Bobby Pierce will pick up the tail end of the pack in front of behind fellow Illini driver Jason Fager down the main straightaway. Now it's Owens' chance to close the gap, Dustin. Nowhere to go in front of him. He can't work around the high side. If he's going to get by the lapped car or the first car to go a lap down, he's going to have to go to the bottom. The guy running second has the advantage, Jimmy Owens, because Pierce doesn't know where he's going to go, but Owens can see well enough ahead which spot to make the move. We saw that in Friday night at Taswell when he passed Scott Bloomquist in traffic. Meanwhile, down the back straightaway, Babcock and Landers and Bagley and a big mess in front of your leader. And here comes Owens, close as quick. This is going to get interesting, and don't count Jake Hawkins out of it as well. Look at him. They're three wide in front of your race leaders. Bobby Pierce trying to methodically thread the needle instead. Owens down to the inside. What a battle. Down the back straightaway, around Landers. He looks like he's going to pull out Demel in the 58. Hawkins still runs it third. Eric Wells fourth. Brian Burkhofer from 12th to 5th. Down the main straightaway, the battle for the lead right here by a nose. It's Pierce at the line, Dustin. Owens may have the advantage, though. Pierce still trying to work around the 25 of Jason Fager. Great racing in the first day feature at Eldora. Here comes J.O. down to the inside. He'll clear Bobby Pierce and move into the lead. Lap 15 is where he takes the lead as they come out at turn number four. Lap 16 right now. And at turn number one, Owens over Pierce. Hawkins lurks in third. Still heavy traffic now in front of Jimmy Owens, your new leader. As they work through the traffic, Jacob Hawkins able to close in on him as well. Eric Wells right there. Burke Hoffer remains in fifth. John Blankenship sixth. Side by side for seventh. The 44 of Chris Smokey Madden and the 55 of Jeep Van Warmer. Ninth is Eddie Carrier Jr. Shannon Babb rounds out the top 10. 17 laps complete. Eight laps to go. Bobby Pierce closing back in on the 20 of Jimmy Owens at least momentarily. Into turn number three. It's about a three car length now. Advantage for Jimmy Owens, the 42 year old. Out of Newport, Tennessee, the three time and reigning. Lucas Oil, late month. Series champion Pierce closes Hawkins Wells Burkhopper. They're all on the same straightaway at Eldora. 18 in the book, seven to go, Dustin, on a Thursday night. Pierce a little bit better through one and two than Owens is. Owens, though, maybe a little better off the corners. Owens will look down to the inside, try to work by the one of Jeff Babcock. Not sure if he's going to be able to clear him. And again, maybe Pierce has the advantage now, six to go. If that outside stays open, Pierce will go around him. Here they come down the back straightaway. What did I just say? They got three wide in front of your leader, Owens. Pierce on the crossover. Into turn number three, they're side by side. Oh my God, oh baby. Five wide. Oh, and Pierce gets into the 75 of Phillips coming up off the corner, unable to get by him, and that might be the break that Jimmy Owens needs all night here tonight. With 22 laps complete, three to go. 
Here we go, DJ. He got a great jump on the start. Green flag is out. Pierce quickly tucks back up in line on the outside. Here comes Eric Wells down to the inside of Jake Hawkins. Burkhofer is there. Blankenship is there. Look <laughs> at him stack up down the back straight away. Here comes Eric Wells. And they're two, three wide, almost four wide. Blankenship on the bottom. Wells in the middle. Pierce up top. Jimmy Owens said, you guys go in and race. Two to go. White flag coming up. Pierce has got to go now. Pierce in second, Wells third, Blankenship moves up to fourth. The loser in that one was Jayhawk. He falls back to the fifth position. White flags out. Final time around for your race leader, Jimmy Owens. Cornet Ford in the one, Club 29. He's won three out of the four, last four Lucas Oil Lima to Dirt Series races. Down the back straight away. The route Latham Memorial. Winner last week at Florence, Kentucky. He's going to win here. The first preliminary tonight at Eldora. Down the straight away. Oh, it's your winner, Pierce second. Who's going to go to victory lane here tonight, Dustin? Here they are. Off into turns one and two. Kent Robinson going to get the early race advantage in this one. Jonathan Davenport going to tuck in line in second. That's how they run down the back straight away, side by side for the fourth spot. Chris Simpson on the inside. Billy Moyer on the outside. They chase your race leader, Kent Robinson, after lap one. In turn number one, Davenport runs it second, Bloomquist third, Simpson fourth, Moyer fifth. Sixth is Francis, seventh Chamberlain. As they dig down the back straightaway, Bloomquist all over the sixth. The Lahorn K&L Rumley of Jonathan Davenport. They're side by side at a turn four, Dustin. Off the corner, Bloomquist on the inside, Davenport on the outside. Bloomquist, the second fast qualifier here this evening, picked up a heat race win a little earlier. Davenport slips up, coming off the corner. That's all zero needed. Move that entry up into the second spot. Your race leader at the end of lap number three is still Kent Robinson. Scott Bloomquist second, Jonathan Davenport third, Chris Simpson fourth, side by side for fifth, the insane one on the inside of Billy Moyer. Remember Davenport last year in the Steve Cook 49, how well he ran in one of these feature nights as they end up a turn number four it's still kent robinson looking good right now bloomquist second third is davenport then it's simpson chamberlain moyer francis ecker the 157 of marler and the 25 of mason ziggler good battle back there going on from about six spot on back three wide eckert in the one marler in the 157 francis in the 15 that's a phenomenal race those drivers three wide all the way around the half mile oval I tell you daryl landigan has got to be smiling doesn't he right now trying to win both features here tonight he won with jimmy owens kent robinson right now well in front of bloomquist in the one six in the books still 19 to go here in this second feature of the night. Wayne Chin slows on the back straight away. Looks like he's going to pull that car down to the infield and call it a night. A tough break for him. But up front, Kent Robinson picking him up and putting him down. But I think, James, he's going to have the same thing happen to him what happened to Bobby Pierce. Here in a little while, he's going to close in on the back of the field, and that might be the break Scott Bloomquist needs. That's all he said. The driver running second has the advantage in traffic because he can see a lot farther ahead than the leader can as they come out of turn four and that old smoky moonshine zero. Good race here for third side by side. Simpson on the bottom, Davenport up top. Dandy for third, Dustin. Simpson trying to take that spot away from Davenport, not able to get it done. The 20C of Dwayne Chamberlain right there as well. Chamberlain been one of the very strongest regional runners in the entire country this year. Chris Simpson and a new rocket this weekend. They're still even to the line. That is Chamberlain, Eckert, Moyer, Marler, Francis McDowell now trying to come on to the 17 and Mason Ziegler. Meanwhile, down the back straightaway, they're still at it. Iowa's Chris Simpson, North Carolina driver now. Jonathan Davenport, formerly out of Blairsville, Georgia. Rick Eckert from the 11th spot up to six. He's got the Rocket House car glued to the very bottom side of the racetrack. Meanwhile, though, up at the front of the field, Kent Robinson seeing his lead very slowly, very methodically evaporate as he gets to the back of the pack. Scott Bloomquist was able to close in on the race leader. Right now, what a race here. One of the best races on the track is for third. Simpson in 32, Davenport in six, Chamberlain 20C. The St. Henry's nightclub car is trying to get two top fives here tonight. Hawkins finished fifth of the first one. That was Jacob Hawkins. Chamberlain right now in the fifth spot. He'll try to split Simpson and Davenport up a four, Dustin. 
That's an absolutely outstanding battle. Simpson in 32, Davenport in six, Chamberlain in the 20 seat, all battling for the third position. Simpson has it, the other drivers want it. Ken Robinson working through traffic like a veteran. Puts Delmas Conley a lap down. Shifts lanes to work by the 360 of Michael Asbury and now stays glued to the bottom to put the 40B of Kyle Bronson a lap down. So Ken Robinson right now has got those three lap cars between himself and Scott Bloomquist. A very impressive run for the Bloomington, Indiana driver. 27 years old. Down the back straightaway, the JB Salvage. A business started by his late father, John Robinson, who passed away last year. Curtailed his racing activities. He's picked it back up this year. Trying to win here at Eldora tonight. In fact, Steve Kinzer drove one of Ken Robinson's car in the prelude here back a few years ago. But down the back straightaway, he's trying to go to victory lane where Steve Kinzer has been many, many times here at the Big E. Robinson will guide it at a turn number four. Down the main straightaway, one to go for a win at Eldora. Dustin Jarrett, final time around. He's got some lap traffic to maneuver around. Kent Robinson keeps that Club 29 car glued to the bottom side of the racetrack. Down the back straightaway, lap car side by side in front of him. He'll bide his time. He's got this one in the books. The winner of the second feature this evening is K-Rob, Kent Robinson.